Eric here. Welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I will be reintroducing the SOG SOGzilla. And one of the things I wanted to try is to actually make this act like an Emerson wave. As you can see, there is a notch in the top of the hole. A lot of folks say, oh, with minor modification, you can make this work like an Emerson, but I have yet to see a video on YouTube. Now, I'm not saying there isn't, but I haven't been able to find one on YouTube where someone actually did it. So, what I have here is my um, drill press, and I put a Dremel stone here, grinder, on the tip of it, and I put it on here so it keeps it exactly parallel. So, what I'm going to do is bring you in, and I'm going to start cutting. And I'm sort of doing this by eye and see what comes out the best. I'll tell you right now, this is going to take a long time to see what I have so far. What I'm doing is I'm uh, putting this one right here, this side. Okay, this was going very slow, and the stone, the grinding stone from the Dremel, is actually starting to wear. So that wasn't working out too good. This was about wearing just as fast as the metal it was grinding. So, what I tried was breaking out my sander. This this is a sanding belt on here. And actually this started to work really good. What I did was I went ahead and fit this paper right in here and let it start grinding. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. And this actually started working really good. I'm going to show you what I have so far. See, I'm starting to wear this. It's hard to point with gloves on. I'm starting to wear this part back here. And I'll tell you what, I know I'm going to get a lot of grief about wearing gloves on spinning tools. So, there we go. Here's what I have so far. So I'm going to go back to the grinding stone here and just sort of try to dress it up. trying to do is give, let me get some light, what I'm trying to do is make this edge here look consistent with the rest of the blade so it looks nice. So we're getting there slowly. Before I refine this and sort of uh, smooth everything out and try to make it look uh, make it look good, I'm going to go ahead and test it. 
You know, one of the downsides to the Sogzilla, that clip is very tight, especially up here. So it really holds on to your pads. So if I start it all the way deep, it's kind of hard to, to get it to start coming out. Do that again, just to show you it works every time. Not bad. Okay, the next thing to do is to get some sandpaper and start doing it the old-fashioned way to clean things up and make it look good. I want to make this look like a, a really nice knife, uh, like it came like this. So I'm really spending the time, taking my time, doing it by hand. Now, of course, I'm learning while I'm doing this. Now, one thing I found is if you can hold it parallel upside down and place it on the sandpaper, you can probably do a better job. What I'm trying to do is get some of the, mach the machining from the um, grinding wheel sort of out so it looks like a nice smooth surface because I did cut this down a little bit so the wave part would stick up and catch your catch your pocket every time. See, I heard someone say don't do it on a cushion because it's going to make it uneven instead of being flat. So I heard you through the camera. All right, now going to a fine grit. I think this is um, 400 grit. Okay, and really, it didn't. It really didn't need that much. So now I got to find some steel wool. All right, I found some grade 000 <laughs> steel wool. Just go ahead and run that a little bit. Not sure how I can do this. I figured while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and put it up, put it on the buffing wheel, and shine it up a little bit, also. Now, for those of you who didn't like the shiny look, you could always get some steel wool. And as long as you try to keep those lines straight, so it looks like it's professionally done, you can just sort of go over it. Bring that uh, brush look back. That's what this knife had out of the box, sort of had a, a brush look to it. Give that brush look back. I think we got a perfect looking knife. I'm happy with it now. I'll tell you, little little things bug me. I did the reason why I sort of shined this a little bit and then brushed it back a little bit is because when I when I had this up on the drill press on this piece of wood and uh, I was pressing down on it, I put some scratches in there, and of course that drove me crazy. So. Um, what you might want to do is, if you do sort of try to replicate what I'm doing, is maybe use a piece of felt or something that doesn't scratch the side of your book. Ah! <laughs> the side of your blade while you're working on it on the drill press. But, you know, there it is. It's like perfect. I'm very happy with it. You can still see the sog. I had to sh sharpen it. Now it does not affect opening or closing it at all conventionally. You don't really need it down here because you're when you're opening it you're using this part of the hole. So 
no problem there and when you close it you're pushing against the blade or pulling against the blade so that part of the hole you don't really use so you don't need it but I left you know I left a lot of it there and yet it's still big enough to work on your pants every time <laughs> I might need to uh, put some oil on this thing there we go very nice I'm very happy with this modification it'd be nice if SOG sold them just like this SOG come on call this the Fred version or the uh, how about the obsession knife <laughs> make one just like this you don't have to pay me a dime just name it after me what do you think well again Thank you very much for joining me here on the Gear Obsession channel. I appreciate every friend, viewer, and subscriber. Have a great day.